drone, 4K drone, at my back, uh, hovering around with me, and we'll try to test. That's why for this match. So join with me. This is BN Fat Biker. It is first time to tune in to my channel. Click the hit subscribe and the bell icon to continue to receive all my weekly YouTube videos. Marami pa nagtatanong, paano ba maging drone vlogger? Mahirap ba? Gano'n ba kamahal? Ha? Medyo malaki ba ang risk? Well, sasagutin po natin. First is, dapat magkaroon po tayo ng drone. Okay? Para maging o magsimula as a drone vlogger. But, wait. Be careful sa pag-acquire ng inyong mga drone. Hindi ibig sabihin ng mga nakikita nyo sa mga uh, networking shop, shopping or online shopping mga drone is bibili nyo na kagad and then kaboom! Drone vlogger na kayo. Okay? So, para maiwasan ang pagsisisi, maiwasan ang pagkawala ng inyong pera at maging sulit ang pagiging drone vlogger ninyo, aking ituturo paano ba ang maging isang drone vlogger na meron na kayong drone okay? o paano sa pagpili ng inyong drone, your first drone. Okay? There are five ways I'm going to teach you how to be a drone vlogger. Okay? Let's get it on. Guys, shall we begin? Let's begin now. It's been exciting talaga, okay? Kung ikaw ay gagawin sa video vlogging na out of this world or out of the box na kumbaga hindi camera nakatutok kumbaga in a different way which is kagaya nga no pagiging drone vlogger okay so if you're trying to be or starting to be a drone vlogger okay uh, okay kailangan po natin makabili ng drone so first okay tandaan po ninyo napakaimportante to this is the 5 golden rules of all droners out there nagsimula rin ako dati okay ang top number 1 I mean the first step to be a drone vlogger, okay, is finding a drone. If you are if you are looking for a drone, okay, rule number one is the size and range. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nun? Size, okay, size and range. Okay, so let's discuss first the size. The size is, may mga drone na maliliit. Okay, so may drone na maliliit, may drone na malalaki, at mayroon pang mas malaking drone. What we call it, uh, the enterprise drone. Okay. Bakit may mga sizes ang mga drone? Okay. Kung ikaw ay isang vlogger or drone vlogger na ang gusto mong i-cover lang is yung sa loob lang ng bahay, sa garden nyo, okay? At nagpapalipad na kayo sa nyo is medyo mga 5 meters up from the ground, okay? 5 meters. Okay. Kaya sa mga sa swimming pool nyo, kasi mag-drone vlogging kayo, selfie. You must get a small drone. Okay? Ano yung mga drone na yun? Yung mga palm size na drone. Palm size na drone na pwede mag-take off. Okay? Pwede mag-auto-take off. Okay? From your drone. Uh, from your palm. Okay? This kind of drone. Okay. Uh, tapos, uh, ang drone kasi is controlled by of course, the remote controller. Okay? Remote controller like this. Okay? Excuse me. Okay? Okay, may tayo niya. At ito ay nakahookup din. Nakalink sa inyong mga cellphone. But there are some drones na talaga may sarili ng smart drone controller na hindi na kailangan ng cellphone. Okay, yun ay mga um, big drones talaga yun. Okay. So, pag kayo ay uh, may drone na at maliit lang kailangan nyo pang loob ng bahay lang, I suggest you get a small drone. Okay? Marami pong brand ang mga drone. Okay? There are DJI's. Okay? Hubsan drones. Auto drones, Parrot drones, GRCC drones, MJ Bugs drones, etc. etc. Okay? And each brand of drones depende po sa prices po. Okay? Kaching, kaching. Kaya dapat smarty po sa pagkuha ng inyong mga drone. Okay? Now, kung ikaw naman ay medyo extreme na gaya ko, okay? Yung parang uh, you want to charge yourself, medyo may risk. Eh. Kumuha ka ng malalaking drone. Okay? Malaking drone. So, malaki nyo, big sizes. Bakit malaki? Kasi, it can fly so high in a long distance. Okay? Huwag nyo po, again, huwag na huwag nyo po yung gagamitin yung magandang mga drone, ang malaking drone, okay, na sa loob ng bahay. Dalawa mo yung lang, makabasag yung drone o mabasag yung drone nyo. Okay? Take note of that one. 
So those are the sizes. Next is yung tinatapik o siya sabi ko na range. Okay. If you want to get a drone, ang target mo sabi mo sa bahay lang ilang kilometer, eh, kilometer sorry. Ilang distansya man lang sa loob ng bahay lang. Eh, yung malilit na drone nga lang. So meron mas malilit pa dito ha. This is a DJI drone. So pang malayo at dito. Pero kung ang gusto mo is yung talagang you want to cover the the sea of clouds, okay? On top of the mountain, on top of the building, okay? At uh, you want to travel those drones one, one kilometers away from you. Well, get a bigger drones, okay? So yun, that's the rule number one. Ask yourself, ano ba ang magiging coverage ko as a drone vlogger? And take note. The bigger the size, the longer the range of distance, okay, the higher the price. Again, I give an example. These two drones, okay, this drone, this DJI drone, okay, maximum range, horizontal, okay, the height is 600 meters, okay, 600 meters high, okay, ito. Pero, pero, again, uh, yung natest natin ito is... Uh, 500 500 flat lang ang kanyang ma-reach okay and this one as advertised okay as advertised this said 5 kilometers horizontal distance or horizontal flight distance ang kaya nito and then uh, 1,000 okay 1,000 meters ang kaya nito uh, vertical vertical flight Okay, which we will test it. Talaga namang nagawa naman eh, drone ko na to. Okay, so that's the rule number one. Okay, take down your notes. Okay, okay, we are now on our rule number two. Okay, how to be a drone vlogger. Finding your first drone. Okay, again, if you are not subscribed yet, please hit subscribe and click the bell icon of BN Fat Biker. Okay, rule number two in buying a drone to become a drone vlogger is the extra features of the drone that you're going to buy. Hindi ibig sabihin may drone ka, okay? Hindi ibig sabihin may drone ka, mabili ka, so boom, flight na tayo. Hindi ganun. As a drone vlogger, meron ka dapat i-check. Kailangan mo hanapin na kailangan kailangan mong magamit, okay? Sa pagbabdag mo. Lalo na, syempre, sa YouTube natin. Okay. Okay, here's the tip number one under extra features. Dapat, pag bibili po tayo ng drone, is yung, yung tatawag natin uh, yung motor niya is brushless na Ano ba brushless motor ng drone? Okay Hawaan po natin itong medyo malita drone na ito Isa Okay Pag sinabi yung brushless Alam naman natin mga motor di ba? Dati Meron siyang uh, carbon brush Okay Alam natin yun Ma-electric pan natin Okay uh, Iba pang mga industrial motor Papapansin nyo Pag umandar Napakaingay Okay Imagine that one Yun yung mga meron carbon brush But The drone that you need to buy is Look for brushless motor drone okay so ito po yun dito that means kapag umiikot siya umaandar almost zero yung noise or at least very minimal bakit ka bakit ka nyo syempre if you are trying to vlog using your drone dapat tahimik okay or else sayang hindi maririnig ng audience nyo ano yung gusto mong iparating or message or the sound background okay that's the number one tip for features in looking for a drone Next is yung tinatawag nating headless mode. Okay. Dapat i-check mo kung bibili ka ng drone is yung headless mode features. Ano yung headless mode? Okay, for example. Okay. This is the front of my drone. Ito yung mga sensors, ito yung camera. Okay. Nakaharap sa inyo yung drone. Okay? At ako yung napapalipad sa likuran ako. So that means, kaya kong i-control na pabalikin ko yung drone ko kahit nakaharap sa inyo patras headless this is the head of the drone yung harapan so pwede siyang pumunta sa akin bumalik kahit nakatalikod or kahit nakatagilid pwede siyang pumunta sa akin na nakatagilid okay yung tinatawag na headless mode features ng drone alam mo purpose nun para pag nagdo-document ka o nagfi-film ka o nagbablog ka using your drone is pwede ka makagawa ng cinematic okay okay kahit kahit uh, nakatalikod sa iyo ikaw yung controller nakagawa ka ng pelikula or film look for the new one Headless mode features na mga drone. Okay? Jot it down. Okay. Number three. Number three tips. Ito, uh, butikin ako. Ilang beses ako butikin ng umiyak. Okay? Sa pagdodraw sa mga remote area. 
Okay? Especially in uh, Vietnam area. Okay? So, dapat, yung mga drone na bibili nyo. Yung mga drone na bibili nyo. Okay? There should be a features ng GPS. So, GPS. Okay? So, sa, sa controller nyo, okay? Sa mga controller nyo, plus your own cellphone, ikakonect dito. Okay? May, may corresponding apps din yan. Okay? May corresponding apps din yan. So, dapat, meron siya ang GPS. For the purpose of, natatrack mo, natatrack mo saan ang exact location, exact location ng inyong mga drone. Actually, uh, most of the famous or branded drones, okay, it will not take off unless you have a minimum of 11 to 12 satellite GPS na nakalink bago siya mag-take off. Okay, that's very important. Okay, so last time, it happened to me, I qualified down a drone, okay, in a very remote area, okay, medyo may pagka-jungle sa, uh, sa Vietnam, and my drone, biglang nag-lobat siya, and then, nagawa siya nag-auto uh, landing. So, hindi ko alam kung nasaan, but using, using my, my controller, or using my controller, pati yung cellphone na, na, na may apps nito, itong DJI na to, nalokay ko via GPS, exact location ng drone ko, at nakuha ko. Okay? That's the main purpose of the GPS integrated features ng mga drone. Jot it out, guys. Okay. Next. Next is, Next features na meron dapat kayo sa mga drone na bibili nyo is yung meron tinatawag na RTH. RTH means return to home. Return to home. Okay. So, there are two ways. Bakit ba nag-return to home? Either natakot na na o gusto mo na pa hindi pa tapos yung flight niya, flight plan niya, penalize mo yung, uh, yung return to home, uwi siya. Okay. And then, second is during emergency cases. Palobat ka na, nawala ng signal, Connection mo from the controller from to your drone na wala, okay? Wala ng signal o humingi ng signal, the drone will automatically go back, go return to home to the controller location, okay? And then, that is a very important feature sa dapat na tingnan, meron siyang RTH or return to home, okay? Para bumalik yung drone or else, kaching kaching wala na, okay? Kung makikita mo nyo sa inyong mga drone controller, this is a DJI drone, meron siyang Return to home button or RTH. Okay, pag pinindot mo to, manual, babalik siya. Ang automatic naman, nawala ng signal, okay na, napunta yung connectivity nyo, low bat, babalik siya. Okay? Same here, the other drone, the Hubsan, meron din siyang return to home, yung button na to. Okay? So, that are number uh, three features of the, na dapat mong hanapin if you're trying to buy a drone and be a drone blogger. Uh, another feature Okay, vlogger ako Gusto kong makuha ko ako Ang aking pagbablog 360 degrees Okay Check your drone Again Check your drone Okay Kung meron siyang features ng follow me Or tracking mode So yun, yun yung drone na papalipan mo Then Iti-teach mo lang siya Akabuling kanya Napakaganda po yun Wala lupa pag ikaw ay isang uh, Sports active guy uh, cyclist ka, mountain climber ka, okay? Takot tuma runner ka, hahabol yung drone sa'yo. Hahabol yung drone sa'yo. So, jot it down. There should be a follow me or tracking mode feature sa mga drone. Okay. Next is, one of very important. One of very important. Kaya nga tayo, okay? Kaya nga tayo, magbablog kasi kailangan natin ng camera. Pero in a different angle. In an aerial type angle. Or papahabol ka. Okay. Kung ikaw ay bibili ng drone, make sure yung camera, yung camera niya ay may gimbal. What do you mean by gimbal camera? For example, kahit anong movement mo, kagaya nito, may gimbal itong mga lahat ng drones ko. In, in different movement, okay, X, Y, Z uh, axis, that's why I call it three axis gimbal, stable pa rin yung camera. Walang jittery, okay, walang vibration. Very cool pa rin ang pagkuha ng inyong video. Again, there must be a gimbal in your camera. Okay, last part. The features, major features na dapat na meron kayo is yung natawag na obstacle avoidance. What is obstacle avoidance? Okay? Make sure yung drone nyo ay mayroong mga uh, control sensors na magsasabing babangga na ako. Babanggan ako sa building, sasabit na ako, o iiwasan ko. 
Okay? Automatic na nagre-reflect din yon sa inyong mga controller. Okay? Obstacle avoidance. Okay? So, yan yung mga top 6 or top 7 features na dapat ninyong hanapin sa inyong pagbili ng drone. And again, guys, the more na mas maraming features, okay? The more na mas maraming features sa drone na bibili nyo, the more kaching, kaching, kaching. Okay? So, that's our rule number 2. Okay guys, we're halfway there Okay, sa ating features ng ating How to be a drone vlogger Okay, rule number 3 Okay guys, we're now the rule number 3 The very important Rule Dapat may camera Dapat may camera po Ang bibili yung drone Okay Dapat may camera Ang bibili yung drone Okay Nagkalat po sa online shopping Okay, ang mga drone Pag nasabi kasi yung drone, ay drone! Bibili nga yan, napakamura! Eh, but watch out! Sometimes they are selling drones sold separately yung camera. Okay? Be careful at one. Kundi, iyak ka, may drone ka nga, wala ka namang camera. Okay? Just make sure when you're buying a drone, dapat integrated na. Integrated means talaga na doon nakabit na. Hindi mo pwedeng tanggalin. Okay? As much possible yung nakakonect na talaga. Okay? Okay? Uh, nasabi ko sa inyo kanina, uh, dapat yung camera mo is may 3 axis gimbal X, Y okay? X, Y, Z axis is stable yung camera Okay, yun yung sa mga pictures Now, Sa rule number 3 po natin, yung camera spec Okay The, uh, the higher pixel, the better Kasi, kumukuha ka ng aerial shot Okay, aerial shot The more na mas malinaw, mas maganda Or the more na kumukuha yung mukha mo Close distance, the more crispy Okay, the more crispy uh, kuha ng camera, the better Especially sa man of YouTube na gaya ko Okay Pag kukuha kayo ng drone Okay, please, at least Kunin nyo yung merong 1080p, 1080 pixel Camera, okay Kasi nagkalit sa online shopping Then meron, uy napakamura, may integrated ka Nandun lang yung features Pero mura, pero makikita mo yung camera niya Camera spec For 420p, 720p Ang labo po nun G3 yun, ang kuha ng, ano, ng video Kahit sa photo, sa raw photo So if you really want to invest something Maging pro in the future sa drone Kuha na po yung at least minimum 1080p 1080 pixel camera spec Okay? Kung ang next level po niyan is 4K Okay? Ito kasi 1080p to This is a DJI This is a DJI drone, 1080p Ang camera spec na ito Pero isa to, yung medyo malaking drone ko Isa pa Is 4K Malapit ako, 4K. But there are new drones now, okay? They have a 8K. Ang galing. Ang galing, oh. Itong mga drones na ito, na features ko na ito, uh, there are some videos na rin, which I will share to you in succeeding weeks. There will be a lot of tips and tricks and tutorial about drones is i-share ko sa inyo. Ba mag throwback din ako dahil marami akong mga nagawang mga features na mga drones in my past uh, uploads. Okay? So, ganun po yun. Again, the more na tumatas ang camera spec po, tumatas po ang camera spec ng yung drone, the more, kaching, kaching, kaching. At I suggest, minimum 1080 pixel drone camera po ang makuha ninyo, panalo na po tayo. Then you can start your drone vlogging. Okay guys, uh, the rule number 4, okay, to be a drone vlogger is, may drone na, alam mo ng mga extra features na dapat mong i-consider, and then, Alam mo na kung ano camera type na kailangan mo. Ito ba pang indoor lang, outdoor, or pang extreme drone vlogging. So, next is the four. The rule number four. Any gadgets naman, they require some accessories. Special drone. So, ano bang accessories ang mga dapat mong bilhin? Ito ba yung mga bling-bling or whatever? No. If you're trying to buy uh, accessories, a thousand accessories out there in online shopping, just buy those accessories that are important, significant. Okay, those are significant that you will uh, going to use in your uh, drone vlogging. Okay, I have an example here. So this is my DJI. Okay, as you can see, this is my DJI drone. Okay. First accessories is you must have a very protective case. Mahal po ang drone. Okay po, ba tayo umiyak. Iyak tayo pag nasira ang drone natin. Okay. As you can see here, if I'm going to open it. Okay, I'm going to open it. That's my drone. Okay. Meron akong backup na isang cell phone controller okay iPhone 6 <laughs> okay meron tayong OTG cable 
Yun yung accessories, very important accessories natin. Okay? Yun lang, sumabit. So, dindro natin, meron tayong mga spare propeller. Ito, or yung nasabi, LEC propeller. Dapat meron pa isang set. Kasi kaya ako, meron isang set yan. So, set lang nga, in case kung masira yung propeller mo while flying, may pamalta ka agad. Next is, meron akong accessories mga stand. Okay? Meron mga stand. Kung medyo pihigan ka, ayaw madumihan yung rubber footing ng yung drone, put a stand. Okay? Plastic stand. At meron pong isa itong effective na 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 uh, accessories. I call it the booster antenna drone. Okay? Kinukunik ko to sa so may controller mismo, kinakat controller, para mas malayo yung ang um, nata-travel ng aking drone. Okay? It will boost it will boost the signal of your controller going to your drone. And most important na dapat may mga accessories pa kayo is something like this. Dapat mayroon kayong mga extra batteries. Okay? Extra batteries. As much as possible kahit isa na spare. So, pangit bumiyahe, pangit magpalipad, isa lang ang dalin yung, isa lang ang dalin yung uh, battery, and then pag naglobat, tapos na. So, you should be smart. Dapat may separate battery ka. And again, talking about battery, ang mga drones po, okay, ang mga drones, okay, a branded drones, averaging 15 minutes, ang pinaka, ang, ang pinaka uh, magandang klase, abot tayong halaga ng drone battery, 15 minutes flight time. I think the latest record now, meron ang mga yung mabagong labas around 25 minutes. Okay, so medyo mahal din po yung battery. This is, uh, kasi yung battery is more on programmable din. Okay, then next is, Make sure, lagi nyo pinaprotektahan nyo yung mga o oh, inililinisan nyo yung mga drone ninyo. Okay? Again, always put some like this. Okay? So, that's the rule number four on number buying. Five. Rule number five. Where to buy your drones? Okay, saan tayo bibili? Mag sa online shopping ba bibili? Pwede. Pwede ka mag-online shopping, bumili. Mas mura. But again, procedure those five rules in buying a drone na tinuturo sa inyo ngayon. Okay? Again, mahirap kumita ng pera ngayon. Okay? At ang drones ay napakamahal. Really expensive. Okay. Where to buy? I suggest, okay, if you would like to go in online, it's okay. But make sure you have a very good coordination na kukontak mo yung buyer. I mean, the, the seller. But for me, all my drones, all my gadgets, okay, binibili ko mismo sa tindahan mismo ng mga legitimate and authorized uh, drone seller. So, kagaya natin isa to, aking mga DJI, not only the drone, lahat ng mga DJI uh, gadgets ko, mismo sa DJI ko binibili, sa tindahan ng DJI. Okay, why? Medyo mahal nga lang, pero yung after sales warranty, masirahan pa ng pyesa, magkaroon ng problema, okay, say to the point, you can go back there and get their support and service repair. Okay? Okay? Same with my Hubson. Okay? My Hubson drone. Mismo, doon din mismo sa main Drone seller center ng Hubson ko binili. At andun lahat, marami accessories, everything. But my main point is, kapag nagkaroon ng problema, warranty, warranty uh, repair or service repair, buying of parts, maintenance, pang kotse rin ito, meron kang matatakbuhan. Yun ang point mo. To make all your drones still in tip-top condition. Okay. Again guys, I'll give you uh, a bonus uh, tips. How much is a drone? Okay. A reliable drone, okay, a reliable, reliable, eh? reliable drone, na branded siya, okay, range from, again, range, uh, not range, okay, range from 25,000 pesos, maliit yan, maliit lang yan, 25,000 pesos, okay, going to around 400 to 500,000 pesos, ganun kamahal, those are DJI's, Hubsan, Hotel, Parrot Drones, etc, etc, pero namang mga locust drone, May naman mga locust drone naman, pero hindi papasok naman yung, yung limang, limang rules na binigay ko sa inyo. O, meron dyan MJ, MJ Bugs drone, meron dyan GRCC drones. Uh, makikita nyo yan sa mga online shopping. Online shopping, but again, be careful, okay? Buy at your own risk in your respective drone. Okay guys, so hope you like it and I hope I get a thumbs up for this uh, first tutorial of the drone. Okay? Abangan po ninyo mga succeeding drone. So itong mga succeeding Tutorial sa puro drone tile, drone filming, and drone uh, capturing, drone video tutorial. Okay? 
So guys, thank you so much. This is Bean Fat Biker and have a safe flight of your drones. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.